it's on a distance and he's written today by graham bradley two is foil fisherman written by eamon murthy three garless image dermot brown five sailhurst written by jimmy frost seven highway express simon earl and eight dylan's pride written by paul nichols news of betting on our way to join richard pittman well nobody be surprised that barnbrook again is strongly odds on nine to four on the favorite the foil fisherman five to one the Gala's image six to one sailhurst and dylan's pride 20 to one and the highway express completing the show 33 to one and facing last year's winner of the arco chase as they jump off in the ainsley china cup and straight away graham bradley riding this horse for the first time comes to dispute the lead with gala's image as they come to the first and they jump it together and he's made a mistake he was down on his nose there barnbrook again pecked on landing but he's all right he's got away with it but that was a moment when your heart jumps if you bet nine to four on as they jump the ditch and he's jumped the ditch much better and he's come out of it with a lead of a length or so from foil fisherman in second gala's image third then dylan's pride sailhurst and highway express as they come to the third which is another plain fence and he jumps out a little bit to the right barnbrook but he lands three lengths clear from foil fisherman who's taking quite a grip in second place gala's image is third then highway express fourth as they come to the fourth and he got a bit close to that but fiddled it okay barnbrook again from foil fisherman gala's image and highway express dylan's pride and sailhurst as they jump the fifth what will be the last next time round and he jumped that one very cleanly races past the stands with a lead of five or six lengths from foil fisherman in second gala's image last year's arco winner in third then highway express then a gap back to dylan's pride and last is sailhurst and they don't seem to be going that fast but already there's a good 20 lengths between first and last and that first is barnbrook again taking a real grip as he runs down the hill with Graham Bradley. Graham, who rode a double at Fakenham yesterday and stepped in for this ride because his usual rider, Simon Sherwood, he's riding at Nottingham today. Peter Scudamore was, uh, well, considered for the ride. He rode him last time, but I think everyone felt that Peter was unlikely to be with us today. So Graham has slipped in to this prime ride, a really exciting ride. And it was certainly pretty exciting at the first fence. As they breast the hill, and face up to the first on the far side and there's now 30 lengths between first and last this is the sixth fence a plain fence with barnbrook again the leader by four lengths from foil fisherman as they come to it meets it spot on barnbrook foil fisherman hit it garlis image over in third then highway express and dylan's pride and sailhurst uh, a long long way back now it's next is a ditch oh and he stood back at that hurdled it really and Gala's image got a little bit close to the ditch. The next, another plain fence. Barnbrook again meets that perfectly. Four fishermen's only two lengths off him now. Five lengths back to Gala's image, and a similar gap back to Highway Express. And the last two are toiling now as they come to the water. Barnbrook again joined in the lead now by four fishermen, who's going pretty well for fishermen. Gap of seven or eight lengths back to Gala's image, then a another similar gap back to Highway Express, and the last two are toiling as they jump the tenth and the two leaders jump it together and this starting to look like a two-horse race because Gala's image isn't jumping particularly well but he's still only ten lengths behind them and the two leaders jump that stride for stride and foil fisherman goes on he goes on by length from Barnbrook again 12 lengths back now to Gala's image similar gap back to Highway Express and Sailhurst unseated his rider at that one Racing around the top turn, the two leaders together again now. Barnbrook again on the inside of Foil Fisherman. Gap of 15 lengths back to Gala's image. Then another long gap back to Highway Express. Dylan's pride continues, but is a good 300 yards behind the two leaders. Who are racing stride for stride with five fences left to jump. Eamon Murphy riding Foil Fisherman and Graham Bradley riding Barnbrook again. The gap back to Gala's image about 12 lengths as they straighten up, come to the first in the straight. And this is the first time for a little while Barnbrook again seen another rival. And he's got a good view of this. They come to the first in the straight and they jump it almost together. Barnbrook again, the fractional leader there. Garlis image back in third as they come down to the last open ditch. Four from home. Barnbrook again on the far side. Foil Fisherman rises just fractionally first on the stand side. And Barnbrook looks as if he may have a race on his hands today. 
This is the third last. Paul Fisherman still going well with Barnbrook again at the third last. And Foyle Fisherman a length clear, two lengths clear now. Foyle Fisherman coming down to the second last and the favourite's in real trouble. In fact, he's not going to win if Foyle Fisherman jumps the last too well. Barnbrook again with two lengths to make up now, but he's starting to run under pressure, but Foyle Fisherman is two lengths clear and not looking like stopping as they come to the last. Foyle Fisherman at the last, jumps it well. Barnbrook again over in second. The two of them clear on the run-in. Foyle Fisherman under pressure, but he's going away from Barnbrook. Three, four lengths. What a turn-up this is. The nine of our own favourites beaten. Foyle Fisherman, the runner with experience in the race, goes away for his most important success at the line. Foyle Fisherman wins it. Barnbrook again is second. Gala's image is third. Then the long gap back to Highway Express fourth and Dylan's pride is fifth. So, a shock in the Ainsley China Cup. A win for number two, Foil Fisherman, owned by Mr. J.N. Hutchinson, trained by Josh Gifford, and ridden by Eamon Murphy. Second number one, with no visible excuse, Barnbrook again, owned by Mr. Mel Davis, trained by David Ellsworth, and ridden by Simon Sherwood, uh, rather Graham Bradley. And third, number three, Gala's Image, owned by Sheikh Ali Abu Kamsin, trained by Mercy Rymo, and ridden by Dermot Brown. Highway Express was Number four. two, Foil Fisherman, five to one. Second number one, Barnbrook again, nine to four on favourite. And third number three, Gala's Image, six to one. There was six running.